wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Hello and welcome to Mark and Kelly's Trip Stick Team thing. So today we're going for another afternoon tea and today we are going to Patisserie Valerie, we're going to have their afternoon tea there and let you know what we think. But before we do, please like, share and subscribe to this video. It helps us make more and we love making videos for you guys. Don't forget to join us on our live chat every Tuesday and every Friday 6pm UK time. Where you can ask us anything you like, including the video you're going to see today. Anyway, without further ado, let's get going. And order it here now there are, they do do other cakes and patisseries but today we are here for afternoon tea now you can get 20% off your first table order I believe and right here is the oh, right there is the QR code so other than having afternoon tea they do deals on takeaway where you can also pick your own cakes two for eight pounds four for twelve pounds and six for sixteen and they also do macarons so basically they have um a qr code however there's no wi-fi and there's no internet access really so i couldn't unfortunately order a table service so mark has gone up to the counter to order afternoon tea for two so um and i have decided to go for hot chocolate um for my uh afternoon tea and he's probably going to go for coffee so let's see what he comes back with So, it's self-service very much. So you go up there, I paid, uh, they asked me for the drinks, which drinks I want. So Kelly got a hot chocolate and I got a cappuccino. So that's my cappuccino. There's Kelly's hot chocolate. Wow, looks They amazing. gave me a little thing of jam, so it's in a little stack here. Uh, and they gave us two pots of cream. Now, I ordered one vegetarian and one regular afternoon tea, so that's going to come later. So we've got the ingredients to it, we just haven't got the tea. So this is going to be interesting. So it's very much self-service. It's roughly, it was just under £40 for the two. Um, so roughly about just under 20 quid each. So I'm going to be interested to see how this pans out. Oh. Convinced. It's not as maybe thick or chocolatey as mm. I would like it to be, but it's still nice. And I also think 
um, in my mind I'm thinking about the price as well and you know like what type of hot chocolate it's going to be and that type of thing but it's nice. Okay, so the one thing I've got to say is I do like the patisserie ballerine mug. I've got to say that yeah. is quite cool. Let's try it. Mm. Yeah. It's a good cappuccino. Yeah. It's nice. Like I say, so as Kelly said, and she's right, you've got to have the price in mind when you're doing this as well. Right. So 20 quid each, roughly, just under right. that as well. I'm not expecting the world, but it's a nice, it's, it's a nice right, cafe. Yeah. Mm. That's pleasant. Right, now, our sandwiches have arrived. Now, I did notice, here they are, we've got two towers. So we've got the uh, vegetarian for me, and then there's Kelly's uh, regular, or yeah. normal as they called it. Now, this was just served up to us. They haven't told us what's what. It was just plonked down there, so yeah. we don't know exactly what we're getting here. So I think we're all gonna discover it with us as we try them out. Just another little tip here, as you can see, Kelly and I are in a two-seater with these two afternoon teas, so it probably would have made a lot more sense if we took that four-seater over there. Yeah. But anyway, we are where we are. We're gonna try this as when you're just gonna have to bear with us yeah. while we try these afternoon teas. Now then, off you go. Now, I'm gonna go for the worst one first, which will be the, or the worst um, one. Which will be cucumber, because you know I don't like cucumber. Yeah. All right. So, just have to show something like cucumber. Wow, there's a lot of cucumber in that. Wow, like, there is a lot. Like, the whole thing. Take a little bit, I know you don't, it's not your I thing. I don't like it at all. The thing is, normally with cucumber sandwiches, they're supposed to be quite thin, like the cucumber, but this is... A, I've Thick. That's a chunky, that's definitely not a finger sandwich. But anyway, here we go. No. No, I know you don't like cucumber. So you're just having bread here, yeah. pretty much. I do like the bread. It's trying to get a little bit dry. But that's not, that's just the air. Mm. It is quite thick. The presentation, unfortunately, is not that great either. But in my mind, I'm just thinking, like, well, okay. But it's okay. I don't like cucumber. And in hindsight, I should have said not to get cucumber salmon. But I think in my mind, I was I wasn't quite thinking of. But of course. Cucumber sandwich is traditional, do you know what I mean? But let me fill them up. Right, I'm going to start off with this little Bellini here. Look, quite interesting. So, uh, you could have told I, them that you were pescatarian and got a salmon one. Yeah, I made. know. I told them vegetarian, but anyway, we'll try. So, this I'm assuming it's just avocado. Yeah. Mmm. That's actually pleasant. Yeah. Mmm. I don't know if it's got lemon juice Ooh. or something very, very fresh. I could imagine it's got lemon juice in it, yeah. That's or very, avocado. very fresh. Mm. Um, right, let me try some of the others. What do you think on presentation and stuff like that? Presentation is okay. Mm. It is uh, quite big. It's yeah, big. it's bigger than a finger sandwich, yeah. Right, for sure. here we go. Mmm. Mm. That's actually very pleasant. Now it's a um, it's tomato cheese and tomato, so it's yeah. It's but it's not your bog standard cheese and tomato. Inside there's almost like a um, what's that type of um, sun dried tomato? Sun dried, that's it. Sun dried tomato. So it's actually got a very sweet taste. Uh, the cheese is essentially regular cheese. Though. Yeah. But it's pleasant. It's nice. I do like that. Mmm. Mm. Right. Yeah. You've seen me do two over the candy tower. Oh. Okay, what are you going for now? Um, do you know what? I will go for the salmon thing. Ah, you're going for the little bellini. It's not bellini. I keep calling it bellini. What is yeah. it? Yeah. Um, it's some sort of crispy toast of some sort. If that is berries under there or um, some type of fruit. But yeah, it's like a crisp bread. Okay. But yeah, let's try it. 
that crisp bread is really good. Yeah, mine was really good as well with the avocado. I really enjoyed mine. The sweet, sticky. Because as you can see, it's like some type of currants. Oh. And in there with seeds and... Yeah, that's really good. And it really goes well with the salmon. Okay. It's really like, um, yeah, really sort of like uh, seeds, nutty. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, this is nicer than some of the hotels I've been to. Oh, wow, okay. Really nice. Okay. Right then. What are we going for next? Mm. I'm assuming this is chicken. I don't know if it's like a pesto chicken or something. So yeah, it's, the, the, it's like a pesto and a bit of chicken. Okay. But it doesn't look, the chicken doesn't look moist. It looks a little bit dry, but All right. let's give it a try and see. It's dry. Oh, that's a shame. But you know what they could have done to judge it up? What? They put pesto in it. They should have done it with sun dried tomatoes as well. Oh, that would have been a good idea. Yes. Does it work though, pesto and chicken? Pesto and chicken, yeah. But the chicken is dry, so they should have put something with it in order to, make, to give it the moistness. So I think sun dried tomatoes, pesto, and this would have worked really, really well. But it's a little bit dry, I have to take a drink. Oh dear, so there we are. If it's um, it's a shame the chicken is dry. Uh, that I don't, I'm assuming this is all pre prepared, ready to go. Yeah, I mean, it's pre prepared. There's a few people I've seen that come for an afternoon tea. Yeah, I've noticed that too. So there are a few people that come for afternoon tea. Um, so the main thing we wanted to show here is how a very modestly priced afternoon tea right. will pan out. So, because it is quite dry. Um, I feel like it's really good for the price at the moment, from what I sort of like, from what I'm having. It just acts a bit in presentation. Sort of like they need to sort of like um, cut the cucumbers a little bit thinner. Maybe less is more as well with regards to the cucumber. So a bit more finessing, you're saying? Yeah, just so it needs to be a little bit more finesse. Right. Now the last one we're taking out here, what have you got here? This is the ham. This is the ham. There's no cheese in it. Oh, it's literally just ham. It's just ham. It's just a ham sandwich. Any mustard? A, little, a tiny bit of mustard. Okay. Look, look, look at the mustard. So, do you know what I mean? It's not... Yeah. And it's got the crust on, I noticed. Yeah, well, a bit of the crust on. Um, I feel like this leaves me a little bit disappointed in the sense that there's no cheese with this ham um, and a little bit mustard and it's almost like when Mark's vegetarian and they gave him cheese and tomato they couldn't give me ham and cheese with a little bit of mustard I don't know about that anyway I'm gonna try it But it's just a plain ham sandwich. There's not even enough mustard to make it a bit more interesting. Mm. Thankfully, it's not as dry as the chicken because actually it's really dry. Oh dear. It is dry, but not as dry. But the bread I noticed was quite moist, so that's that is a plus point. How is the bread? Is that okay? Okay. But it's just your bog standard, thick, it's not fluffy, it's not... It's just, you know, your normal yeah. bog standard bread that they haven't used the right tools to cut to make it fluffy and they would have squashed it down to cut it and things like that. That's why I'm saying it lacks finesse and stuff. But, you know, the, the simple fact that that's the amount of mustard that you're getting 
Okay, last but not least, this I believe is hummus. Hummus and it's actually got peppers in it, roasted peppers. So I'm really interested to try this. Again, nice and chunky, the bread is soft, which is good. Let's try. That's the best one so far. Oh, really? Mm. The hummus is nice. It goes well with the peppers. Um, yeah, the bread is soft. It's um, no crust on this one. Uh, it's nice. It's a good sandwich. This is the best one so far. Oh, wow. Mm. The bread, I know, is a little bit flat. Now, I don't know if it's because they made them the night before or um, why that's a flat, but they, they aren't quite flat, but they are fresh. Yeah. Say. It is fresh. I think it's that it's flat because they squash it down to cut it. You know, mm. like when you're cutting a sandwich. Oh yeah, I see what yeah. you're saying, yeah, that, yeah. Might, that might explain it. But I didn't wonder why it's a flat. Yeah. But anyway, on with the lights. So just an aside on the jams, we were given two raspberries, one apricot and a blueberry. There isn't a strawberry, that might have been an error, because we may have had, supposed to have one of each, but yeah, just to let you know, that's the jams that we've got here. point on the scones. Okay, so here are the cakes. I'll show you on my plate. I'm going to film Mark eating them. So they didn't explain what these cakes were. So, yeah. so I'm thinking, uh, while they didn't explain what the cakes were, I'm thinking this might be a chocolate fudge cake. The other one might be a raspberry sponge cake. And this might be a chocolate profiterole cake, possibly. So let me see Mark, um, watch Mark trying the cakes. Okay. Right then. Here we go. So I'm going to give them a chance. Right. Let's try. And the reason why I say that is what well, I don't know. They, they don't look, I say not, not appealing, but let's just try. Yeah. It's okay. Right. It's very much like a bog standard chocolate cake, if you know right, what I mean. Okay. It's fine. It doesn't really wow me. Okay. Um, let me try the little twirl. Mm. Now, if you take a look at that, so it's you've got the sponge layer of uh, chocolate in the middle and there is a chocolate top as well which you can't quite see on here but okay do you know what it's, it's, it's okay it's growing on you it's growing on me the sponge is light um the cream inside is quite rich We've had, which is a good size actually for a cake yeah. because it's not too uh, filling. But, yeah. Um, hmm, okay. Let's try this raspberry one. This is what I think is the raspberry sponge cake. Okay, so the sponge looks quite light, the filling nice. Mm. That's much better. Oh, really? Very light sponge. The filling is really sort of raspberry, mm. it's quite nice. And the, the, sort of the cream goes really well with it. That's a very light, nice cake. Wow. That one is good. I've got to say, I prefer this one to the chocolate. Oh, wow, okay. Mm. Mm. That's good. So, okay. last but not least. Last but not least. 
This is the profiterole. Okay. Do you know what? I'm just going to go with it. Exactly. Okay, so we've got a uh, chocolate top. Here we are. It's okay. It's um. It's not dry. There's not much filling in there. Right. It okay. doesn't wear me as much. Hmm. I think the chocolate as well is quite hard on there. Normally with profiteroles, it's quite yeah, soft, yeah, soft, that's soft. right. Yeah, it's like a, a ganache. Yeah, but this isn't a ganache as well. And the, the profiteroles are sort of soft. They're not right. fancy soft. They're squidgy. Um, Again, it's okay, but for me, the star of the show is that raspberry cake. That is nice. I really did enjoy that raspberry cake. Wow. Right, let's let Penny try. Okay. So, here we go. Um, I'm going to try this one first. So, you're trying the raspberry, raspberry one. This is the one I liked. Here we are. There we go. Okay. I really did enjoy that cream. All right. So, let's give it a go. <laughs> Sponge to me is a little bit stale. Oh really? See now I found it quite sponge-like. I actually found that quite fresh. No. It's, really? It's not. It's not. For sure it's not. Um, the next one I'm going to try is the profiteroles. Mm. Okay. But there's nothing special there. No, nothing I found that. that. Um, now, nothing special in what way? What is it you didn't like about it? Or not not like about it? What is it that you, you're not it convinced It wasn't special of? because it wasn't soft, there wasn't enough cream in it, there was no ganache on it. So in my mind, I'm expecting a traditional profiterole, I guess. But there's nothing traditional about it. But there's nothing in it or on it that wows me. And that's what I mean by there's nothing special about it. The last one. Let's try it. Okay. The chocolate one. my happy birthday from my birthday the other day um right so what did we think okay Give me so your thoughts. this is our final thoughts i guess mm. um and so this is about um valerie patisserie or patisserie valerie how you however you want to say it um i've got to be honest but this is just my personal opinion i didn't think it was that great i feel for 20 pounds or well when I asked her, she said it was thirty six ninety five. Yeah, let's talk about people. that. Let's talk right. about that first. So go on, tell us about that. So um, as we went in, we so basically, what we wanted to show, we wanted to show um, uh, the cheaper afternoon teas. Yeah. So the idea is, we've done quite. A, you'll see that we've done quite a few. I say higher end, but uh, higher end and mid because yeah. if if we're to, if we're looking at price points. Some of the ones that we've done have been 70, maybe over 70 per person, that is. And then we've come down a little bit, like, to sort of, like, maybe 60, 65, all of that type of stuff. And the last one that we did was £61, pounds, yeah. which was the Peter Pan's afternoon tea. But we did do a Be Our Guest, which was cheaper, but that was because that was on a discount. Yeah. 
um, but that one's normally £59 anyway. So this is so, a much more modestly <clears throat> priced afternoon tea. Right. So we wanted to see what you get for the price. Okay. Okay. The price. So when we went into uh, uh, Patisserie Valerie, um, I said, oh, do you do an afternoon tea? She said, yes. I said, great. Um, and uh, how much was it? £36.95, I think she was saying, um, uh, was the price. And I thought, okay. She said, that's for two people. I thought, brilliant. Um, so we went in and sat down and we noticed that if you scan the code um, on your desk for your first table service, you get 20% off. So I thought that was really good. Went to use our, uh, I would try to use my phone, but I couldn't get no signal. You tried to use your phone and couldn't get no signal. Now we were right at the back of the shop. So the idea is we couldn't get a signal. Now I then went up to the uh, counter and asked to pay for it. I ordered two. Now this is where I had a little bit of a bugbear mm -hmm. because I thought to myself, they didn't offer the 20% discount. Uh, partly my fault, I didn't actually request it. They just took the order, but charged me 39 pounds 90. Right, but the, you only get the 20% discount when you order via the app, uh, okay, via, okay. via the, the QR code on the table. But I thought what they could have said is, oh guys, look, just if you go for the QR code, yeah. you'll get 20% off. Go and do that because that, uh, you know, um, you know, offered at least that as well, but they didn't do that anyway. Right, so I suspect the reason why she quoted me 36.95 was because you got, it's normal tea. But when you went up, you asked me, what would I like to drink? Yeah, that's right. So I went and paid and I said, can I have a latte, uh, sorry, a cappuccino, and a hot chocolate right. and she said fine but you would have thought she would have said well actually that's not part of the deal that right. would be extra now they didn't say that yeah. so they went ahead and obviously paid 13 charged me 39.90 it was not a huge great difference no. but it is a difference it, exactly um and when you have something in your mind and then something else happens you're just like well hang on a second now for me lots of things weren't explained with regards yeah. to this uh to this for want of a better word, experience. I wanted to do experience, but anyway, for want of a better word, experience. Um, and so there wasn't a clear... When I said, oh, um, so do you do afternoon tea? She said, yes. There wasn't a clear, this is what we do for afternoon tea, or let me get you a menu, or... And there was nothing no. like that. Now, that's what I've got to say. Now, the way I would describe this is <clears throat> of no thrills afternoon tea. Yeah. It's very much no thrills afternoon tea. Um, and when we were talking about this, uh, actually, on the way home. One of the things, because I've always said this uh, with Kelly, we've always had this discussion. I think, why is afternoon tea so expensive? Like £61 plus per person. Mm. So why is it 61 Why is it 75 And then I realised, once you go to these places, you pay for that experience. The experience of sitting down, enjoying it, being served. This was definitely no frills. Now, you could, uh, as you could see me walking with my tray, I had to go and collect it, which I don't mind. It's not a problem. So I had to go to the counter. I had to pay for it. They gave me the teas. I then came back to the uh, our table and then yeah. put the coffees there. Um, the other thing was as well. Let's so let's talk about uh, the uh, the other part of the service, okay. uh, the way it was delivered. So when they came in, um, our waiter came, put the two afternoon teas down left it and then <laughs> yeah just walked so off. this is the vegetarian and this is the normal so i ordered one vegetarian one what one normal they call it was so a one regular um and then they did it with that but they didn't even explain what the sandwiches were what i mean what the cakes were they just dropped them off okay so fair enough no frills fair enough yeah let's go on, so, so let's talk about the food so let's start as we always do with the sandwiches what did you think well like oh <sighs> okay for just under £20, I got three sort of sandwiches. They were quite big. Yeah, but it didn't make a whole sandwich. No. Right? Because they cut off the corners or whatever, so it wasn't for... Anyway, so I got three... They weren't finger sandwiches. They were slightly larger than finger sandwiches. And then a little... I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, a little a little amuse-bouche or a little tip bit or whatever you want to call it but i think i bit. called it a bellini but it's not but yeah. <clears throat> yeah yeah it's not it's not a bellini but 
um uh yeah and uh it was like a little sort of like a a cracker toast but with like like a fruit cracker toast i guess and um it had a piece of salmon on it like cream cheese and salmon on it mine had avocado yeah and um like when it wasn't even cut nicely it wasn't done in a certain way the bread was as flat as a pancake yeah like, no, it was like flat as a crepe that's what i thought now it, do you know what we were discussing it it's very much like you've gone to somebody's house and they've just cut some some things up loosely yeah uh, it was i mean and again you know and this is the debate we were having are we expecting too much for 20 quid each right and but we thought no now we when you've gone to some of the afternoon teas that we've gone to you get the very fluffy plump bread but a lot of the bread is very much homemade so it'll be sort of what i would call speciality bread tomato yeah. bread spinach bread this was regular bread okay which is fine which is fine absolutely but it was crushed it was almost like somebody and kelly described it really well it's like someone's put their hand on it to cut it but they yeah. flattened it yeah and i just felt that it didn't give me that you know and and like the the fillings in it like they gave me a ham sandwich with a tiny bit of mustard right there was no cheese in it there was no nothing it was just like a piece of ham with a not even a like i'm not looking for lots of mustard or anything like that but a tiny bit of mustard they gave me um a cucumber sandwich and if you saw like you can see how thick those slices of cucumber is right and then it was what was the other one some like chicken and it was like dry it was yeah, dry was, you chicken said, yeah you said there was no sun-dried tomato there, there was a bit of pesto in it there was no at, at least there was more of a spread of pesto than there was of the mustard right then let's talk about the scones what did you think i didn't think they were too bad i thought they were all right i thought they Not were good lie. For me, the scones were the star of the show. That was the best part of the afternoon tea. Uh, well, I say the scones. I should say scone because yeah. we got one each. Now, again, the argument is for a 20 quid, would you expect two scones each? Yeah. Probably not, to be fair. I would. Oh, what? 20 pounds? <sighs> See, let, let's come back on to that thing in, okay. the, in a bit because we did mention we would say that again. So the scone for me was good. It was actual fact. Again, I think what was interesting is we were both thinking, oh God, this is not going to be any good because we were I... so disappointed with the sandwiches. But that was, yeah. it was actual fact. It was fresh. It was light. Yeah. Um, it was actually a, a good scone. Yeah. Again, I thought it was good. They gave us two clotted creams, so one each, although you expect, but it was good they gave us four jams again yeah i didn't quite understand the four jams um because i think four halves so you yeah. have two halves if you cut them in half so you, the idea is you could have a jam each but no, or no. they could have given us two scones each true but be fair be fair they gave us four jams and um like i said we did both say that the scone was nice the scone the scone yeah i mean i thought it was quite good um yeah, I because I when we when when I looked at it, I thought, oh no, oh no, I don't think these guns are going to be any good. But I was pleasantly surprised that it wasn't too bad. It's not the best gun that I've ever had, but it wasn't bad. And it was good. And like I said, for me, it was the highlight of the of the whole afternoon tea. It, it's been sorry, it's been better than some of the other hotels that I've been to. Yes, yeah. agreed, agreed. Yeah. Actually, I would say that, and it's, it's better than some of the more expensive ones. So yeah. we'll, we will give Valerie Patisserie that. Yeah, for sure. Right, last but not least, uh, well, actually, we'll come on to the drinks uh, very quickly. Uh, let's do the drinks first quickly. Okay. How was your hot chocolate? I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. I didn't think it was the best hot chocolate that I've ever tasted, but I, I quite liked it. I liked the whipped cream on the top. I, yeah, I thought it was pleasant. I drank it, yeah. So um, I must have liked if I drank it. Coffee was really good as well. Again, obviously, clearly not replenishable for 20 quid, yeah. which we didn't expect. Yeah, exactly. Um, and again, I do think they've charged us a bit more because we did have a hot chocolate and a coffee. And a cappuccino, yeah. Which I think, that, again, if it was an additional ch charge, they should have said, but we yeah. might be wrong, you might be right, it might be VAT. I don't think that is the case. I don't know. I've got to be honest. Yeah, we don't know. Right. Be. That's the drinks. Let's do the last but not least, the cakes. What did you think? um like do you know when i was looking at those cakes right a thought passed in my head were are these cake fresh 
Yeah, I, do you know what? Now, funny you should say that. So I'm just going to say, now, Valerie Patisserie do really nice cakes. Uh, you will see from the actual cakes, as you, you can see scanning through here as well, they, as I, I did a video of the cakes, they do really nice cakes. So I was really looking for, I thought the star of the show has got to be the cakes. And part of me did actually wonder if they would say to me, you can have one cake each as your afternoon tea. And I think that would be a really good selling point. Yeah. Because yeah. I think to myself, then it would definitely be good value for money. Because you would then, it would sell itself. You would say, have a cake and a scone and a thing for 20 quid. Now the, the cakes are about four fifty. Four pound four fifty each anyway, um, but that would encourage you to go for the afternoon tea. Yeah, and I think that um, they could have offered the, the choice: Would you like three little cakes, or would you like one big cake? Yeah, I, yeah. I do think that. But the the three little <laughs> cakes, I don't want to say that it's very difficult. How can I describe it as well? It was almost like they were off cuts, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. They weren't cut neatly. They were a little bit jagged. Like, I just thought, are these yesterday's cakes? I'm, I'm not going to lie. That's what, that was what my... I don't know if they were. No, they were. I don't think they were. I mean, I've got to say, they did taste fresh. My, you said yours didn't. Mine tasted stale. Mine didn't. My yeah. mine were, To be fair, mine tasted fresh. And I, yeah. like I said, so I'm not suggesting at all that Valerie Patisserie used stale cakes at all. But I would say as well, uh, for the cakes that I had, I just thought they, they were nowhere near their best. And I thought this is... For Valerie Patisserie, I thought these cakes were disappointing. They were very plainish. They're the sort of cakes that they would be their cheapest range. I didn't think they were plain or anything like that. I, because, you know, they, they had all the toppings. They had the, the raspberry cream and the raspberry on top. And then you had the chocolate. And it looked like a chocolate fudge cake. It wasn't a chocolate fudge cake, I don't think. But it looked like a chocolate fudge cake. They looked all right, as in they, 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 they were eventful. But they didn't taste, to me like previous Valerie Patisserie cakes that I've had. Yeah, no, and like I said, Valerie Patisserie do good <clears throat> cakes. We, the ones we had are nice. So we, we were, this is the one we were, lo well, I was looking forward to. Yeah. And I was really disappointed with the cakes. I thought, the chocolate cake? I, I didn't think it was all that, it was all right. It was okay, it was okay. I think so as well. It was a bog standard chocolate cake. Yeah. Again, not the usual standard that Valerie Patisserie would have. I did like the ganache in it. Okay. I did like the ganache in it, yes. I did. What do you think of the raspberry one? No. See, I liked that. I said the sponge. It was stale. No, mine wasn't. It yeah. definitely was. I don't know. I didn't try your one, but mine definitely wasn't. My, it, mine was stale on the bottom. But it was very spongy. Mine was nice. You might have just been unlucky with the one you had. Could be. Could be. Yeah. But the actual uh, the cream was quite nice as well. I had a, a very sort of subtle undertone of raspberry in it. That was my favourite one. Um, right. Okay. So let's go. Uh, that's the two sponge cakes. Let's go to the final thing. And I've got to say that for me, that profiterole was disappointing. Yeah. That was really disappointing. I thought it was, <sighs> normally with profiteroles, when we buy them as well, they're quite spongy, they're soft. Uh, this one was quite, not hard, but it was a firmer than a regular one but as well we're used to having it topped with a chocolate ganache yeah and this was almost like a dry and chocolate on it th this was more like a hard shell chocolate like the, that like it was a set chocolate so the chocolate was set on it so you're not used to that texture for a profiterole unless it's going to be the sugar uh, uh like a crisp sugar topping like a croc on bush um but yeah i didn't yeah, All right, let's talk about the atmosphere because that's important. Now, this is the one that really let Valerie Patisserie down. Yeah. Um, as I said before, we were talking about this as well. Afternoon, I've always just had this debate with Kay. Why is afternoon tea so expensive, like £60? What are you paying for? And you, I realise now going to Patisserie Valerie that you are paying for the experience. Yeah. This was very much a no-thrills uh, afternoon tea, as I yeah. said. Yeah. Um, we were having afternoon tea with people that are just having a cake and a tea, which is nothing wrong with that, yeah, but it's but not set up exclusively for that service. Yeah, and also I feel like 
it, it's more cafe style. Yes, I it, agree. It's a cafe vibe. No, it was very noisy in there. Yeah, it was very entirely noisy. Nice. It's yeah. not somewhere you could go. Um, I don't know about you, but I would argue the case that you probably, I would rather, if I was to go back there, just get a coffee and a tea and a cake, like you were mentioned. Let's go back to what you were mentioned. Yeah. And probably get a sandwich as well and just see if that, I would argue that probably was around about the same price. Um, because there is no afternoon experience really there. Yeah, and the thing was, you had to carry half of the afternoon tea yourself. Yeah, which right? I, I accepted for 20 quid each. Right. But what I'm saying is, you're offering afternoon tea, right? Now, you haven't cut the sandwiches yeah. correctly. The, the, the variety is not on point. The cakes are not on point. Yeah. And you, and you have to bring it yourself. Half yeah. of it yourself. And I've got to for say... For 20 pounds. And I've got to say, you the, the patisserie Valerie cakes are better individually. So if you were to buy a bigger slab, yeah. I think I would say, rather than go for afternoon tea, this is just me, yeah. I don't know if you agree, I would. I think you're better off just going there, getting a drink, getting a, 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 a cake on its own, one you like, and then having that alone. Yeah, you could have a scone as well. And I think they probably would come a bit cheaper than what you've actually had. Um, well, we're definitely under twenty quid. I'd have thought. I think if you if you went if you didn't get scone and ja scone jam and and the the clotted cream, if you just went in and got a cake and got a hot chocolate or coffee or whatever your beverage of choice is, and a toasted sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would not come to twenty pounds. Um, I, and I've got to sit later. Like I say. <sighs> As, as harsh as it sounds, I think I would have rather gone to a supermarket and got the the uh, individual sandwich, individual scone, individual cake. And so let me tell you this, they do two cakes for £8 and I think they might even do four cakes for £12 or something like that. So if you think about it, you could go and get cakes and uh, a, a beverage of whatever it is and a, probably a toasted sandwich for under £20. And it makes a lot more sense to do that. Um, so I've got to ask the burning question, would you come again? I would go again, but I wouldn't go for the afternoon tea again. Yeah, and I think for establishments that do afternoon tea, sometimes they do have a section where they seat people that are having the yeah. afternoon tea. Now, the place was big enough to sort... The, th the thing was as well, it was a Saturday, so it was a bit busier than mm. it would normally be, to be fair. But I think you would have probably a section where you would section it off a little bit, just so that... Because there was, like, two other people that came, uh, two, two other separate people that came for afternoon tea, as well as us. Yeah. There was a couple of ahead of us that also had afternoon tea, so um i i just feel like um yeah i feel like the experience even though you're paying 20 pounds the experience could have been better um as in service and things like that it, they didn't explain what the cakes were they didn't explain what the sandwiches were no 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 I, that was i mean like i said everybody's experience is different they were very polite and kind when yeah. I, they i took the order um and they weren't rude to us at all no but, no no but when they put the cakes down they literally just dropped them and went so we yeah. had no idea what we were eating um anyway that's our review i hope you find that useful that's our review on patisserie valerie afternoon tea um as always please like share and subscribe this video it helps us make more uh and do give us a like please because all that little stuff does help the channel yeah um as always don't forget we do our live chat every Tuesday and every Friday 6 p.m. UK time where you can discuss anything you like including the video you've just seen today. Until then look after yourselves, take care and remember you are never taught to have fun. Bye for now. Bye for now.